now we are, that we are here in the journal, let's take a look at the employee category, which is a new category that we have added to uh, Diamond Capture. And if you take a look at the full list, you will see we have uh, further new categories, not only the purchase and and DL doc contact and sales. You also added a customer category, employee. You also have um, posted purchase receipts and vendors. Those four new categories are are added in order for you to uh, attach documents to those uh, uh, lists, those uh, cards around in the Business Central standard application. And um, uh, we've added uh, identification fields, meaning that we can uh, easily go in and identify. Like in this case, we take a look at the employee category. We have one document that was imported and has automatically identified this as my employee RP, Robin Bettencourt. As you can see over here, the name has been found and through that, Dharma Capture has recognized uh, the record, the employee that we need to link this document to. You can of course activate also register enabling you to to bulk import a lot of documents and have those um, uh, also assigned and also registered uh, on those employees that that uh, matches the, the 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 documents so why don't we try to register this and uh, see what uh, goes on process here and do a register and there we are this document is, is registered and if i Go back. We'll see, of course, there's only eight documents left here. One of the nice things uh, with uh, with uh, adding documents through the OCR categories is that I can search for those documents later on. So I could go to my document search and search for, and let's see, let's take this Robin first name and search for that. And we we'll see that now we have one registered document for Robin, and uh, I can show the file, show the document card, and I can find the information if i want to 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 know what is what has been registered with the name robin or the employee number or whatever uh, key information i search by but let's take a look at how it looks at the employee car card here. <laughs> employees and then here we have a list of employees of course and robin is down here uh, right now, I cannot see anything. I only have the uh, standard field nodes. So let's um, let's do something about that because uh, with the new categories, we also added some extra file fact boxes, uh, uh, enabling you to extend the pages on both the list and cards. Uh, they are hidden by de default, but you can easily go in and, and add these uh, extra, um, uh, this extra, uh, part on your page. So let's go in and personalize my my page. I like to have a detailed component here. That would be my file fact box. And please show that. And done. And I will have my file fact box available. And as you can see, uh, we have the employee document from from Robin right here. And if I want to, I could uh, add another one. I have one here, Robin Bencourt. Some notes from from the meeting, perhaps. And then I would drop it in here. And then I have one extra document. So with the with the file pack box being added, I also have not only my OCR process document, but also the drag and drop capability made available to me straight away. We added this um, file pack box extension to customers, to employers, and posted purchase receipts. It is already present on multiple standard pages like the vendor card, and uh, in the list and also um, unposted and posted invoices and credit notes.